In this video, you're going to see how to install Nice GUI and create this UI that runs in a browser and shows the local project directory. But then we take it outside of the browser and run it in a window. And all this in Python. One of the most requested Python features is the ability to create GUIs better and easier. But just like C and C++ and Rust, Python is created independently of desktop and mobile apps. And we have to fall back on GUI frameworks like Qt, Tkinter and Kivi. But now there is a new kit on the block. It's called Nice GUI and I hear the creators pronounce it like Nice Guy. On their website you can read that it runs in any browser. But when I saw that it can also run in a window, I wanted to test this by creating an app, use some controls, interact with the local system and run the app in a window. Let's go! I create a virtual environment and pip install NiceGuy. I create a new file. I import NiceGuy. As a test, I'll put a button on the screen. And start the app. Let's see what happens when I run the code. A new tab in my browser opens with the app. The button is rendered and clickable. But it doesn't do anything yet. To test if the app can communicate with the operating system, I'm going to show the contents of the virtual environment folder in a grid. I add a label and a grid to the UI. The grid defines columns, name and type and the row data is an empty list. I save the file and let me show what it looks like. Very nice. I go back to my editor to implement the button click handler. I import path and use it to load the directory. I use a list comprehension to convert the directory items to grid row data. and update the grid. I set the function as click handler. I save and check the result. Look at that! The code in the browser communicates via Python with my file system. But it even gets better. The run function has parameter native. Watch what happens if I set it to true. The app is opened in a window. NiceGuy comes with many controls you would expect from a modern GUI library and I will definitely try out more in the future. But if you are looking for a more native approach that uses the widgets of your operating system, click on the screen to see how to create a GUI with Tkinter and we'll see each other in the next video.